my lemon meringue parfait that I served at Buckingham Palace, fit for a platinum jubilee party, fit for the Queen. Winston? Winston? Come back with that leg of lamb. Summer's just around the corner, and I've not done a video for hmm, quite a little while now. The reason being is I've having a bit of treatment on my head. Summer folks, keep wearing that sunscreen. It's getting better though. Anyway, this week is the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, 70 years on the throne. It's incredible. I spent 11 years as private chef to the Queen, traveling around the world with her to all the different residences, to Sandringham, Windsor, Balmoral, Holyrood Palace, the Royal Yacht Britannia, wherever it was in the world. Cooking for five US presidents, Reagan, Clinton, Ford, both presidents, Bush. And working for the Queen was absolutely incredible. I've got one of her favorite desserts to share with you today that you're gonna make at home. It's so easy and you'll be making it all through the summer. Everyone loves ice cream, right? Homemade ice cream, even better. Lemon meringue ice cream, lemon meringue parfait. Oh yes, that's just the perfect summer treat. Let's get started. It's incredible to think that the Queen's been on the throne for 70 years. That's amazing. During that time, she's seen 13 US presidents and eight popes. Unbelievable. I'm starting off with these lemons and I'm zesting them. You can use a microplane. I like the microplane because it's nice and fine. You can get those at any good uh, store these days. When you're zesting the lemons, you only want the yellow part. You don't want the white. The white's the pith and that is bitter and that's going to make the dessert really nasty. So carefully go around the lemons and just get all that gorgeous yellow zest. It smells amazing already. Once you've zested all the lemons, then we want the juice. The zest is going into a pan with some sugar and the juice. Now I do have some exciting news to share with you. My first cookbook, Eating Royally, Recipes and Remembrances from a Palace Kitchen has been re-released just in time for Platinum Jubilee. I put a link in the description below. You can order your copies and they get shipped to you and I get to sign all of them. It talks about my 11 years cooking for the Queen, four years with Princess Diana, really sort of covers each resident, working at each resident and all the favorite dishes that I serve to the royal family. Uh, while I was there. It's really cool because it covers pretty much the 70 years of the Queen through sort of the, the culinary period there. You know, all our favorite dishes, traditional dishes that are still on the menu today. Whisk it all together, the zest, the juice, and the sugar. It then goes on the stove to boil for about three to four minutes. We're looking for a nice syrup. While the sugar syrup's reducing, we're going to whip some cream. We start off with the cream and we're going to whip it until stiff. Now, in the cream, I'm going to add a little lemon color. I'm not a huge fan of lemon coloring, but we eat with our eyes first, right? And if we're doing a lemon parfait, well, it's got to look um, lemon. If you're not a huge fan of the colorings, then you can probably use egg yolks that, um, that are from the corn-fed chickens. That's going to help you a little bit. But a little bit of yellow in there, I don't think it hurts too much. Whip the cream until stiff, don't over whip it. Once the cream's nice and stiff, we can just leave it to one side. Next, I'm going to take some eggs and I separate them. In this recipe, I only need the yolks for the parfait slash ice cream. The egg whites I can use for the meringue, 
because I'm folding ready-made crunchy meringues through the mixture. Now, you can make your own meringues. The recipe is in the description below if you want to. Uh, or you can buy them ready-made. And I put a link in the description too for anybody that just wants to buy them. Or I think most good stores you can pick them up from now. But if you're making the meringues, you've got to separate your, your eggs first ahead of time. Then you can make your meringues. And they take about an hour or an hour and a half in the oven. But I'm doing tiny little meringues like this one. Oh, little baby meringues. These are good even on their own. And they're so easy to make. So my egg yolks go on the machine next. And I'm going to whip those till they double in volume. Once that happens, then my syrup will be ready. And I'm going to pour it into the egg mixture. Once the egg whites have increased in volume, doubled the size, look, almost like a savion, then we can start adding our syrup. I added the syrup hot. That's going to help cook the eggs in there. Once it's all combined, we're going to remove it from this bowl to go into a larger bowl and the cream that we whipped earlier goes in there as well. And we're going to whisk that all together till it's combined. You've got to whisk it until it's nice and smooth and then once it's nice and smooth, then we can fold in the meringues. The meringues are optional. You don't need to put them in there if you don't want to, but they add texture, they add a little sweetness in there and they're absolutely gorgeous. Next, I'm going to pour my mix into a terrine mold. I've lined with uh, plastic and that helps with lifting it out afterwards. You can use a loaf tin if that's easier for you or you can actually make individual ones. Line some muffin tins and just put a little ladle in each one. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. When you need a dessert, you go to the freezer, pull one out, a little sauce over the top. Delicious. Then, with the plastic wrap, goes over the top just to protect it because it's going in the freezer for 24 hours overnight. You can actually leave it in there for up to three months. Bring it out when you want it, cut a slice, put it back again. But I've never made one yet that lasted three months. <laughs> Once it comes out of the freezer, 24 hours remember at least, we can just ease it away from the sides and then lift it out. It's as simple as that. It's really light because it's not an ice cream, it's a sort of, it's a parfait. And so we can open it up. See, lemon, you can tell it's lemon now, right? And then just turn it upside down and take off all this plastic. You can even serve it like this. I mean, it looks absolutely gorgeous. It's citrusy, it's refreshing. I mean, won't this be the hit at your pool party this summer? Look, a little slice from the end. It's straight from the freezer, but you can cut into it. Oh, look at that. I've made a little blueberry compote to go with this gorgeous lemon dessert. And now the lemon parfait. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Order a copy of my cookbook, Eating Royally. Congratulations, Your Majesty. 70 glorious years. See you again soon.